own attachment. So she was really excited about taking on the job of painting Elizabeth, the best in show winner. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Margaret Anderson, the owner and handler of last year's best in show winner, escorted into the ring by Gerald King, the chairman of Crufts Committee. So there is the, the painting presented to last year's owner of the Best in Show winner for 2012. What a nice moment for her. Amelia currently lives in Devon and uh, she's surrounded and by the, the painter, painter of Amelia presenting it. And there it's it is. Beautiful. Isn't that lovely? The arena announcer is currently speaking to this pretty large crowd that's remained for the last group of the day, the toy group, which is coming up, just announcing the introduction of our judge. And I'll pick that up in just a moment when she comes into the ring. So please give a very warm welcome to our toy group judge, Mrs. Liz Cartlidge. And here comes our judge being escorted into the ring by Gerald King, who's chairman of the Crufts Committee. And there's our judge, Mrs. Liz Cartlidge. Now, she judged Best in Show at the 1999 shows. Now I have the honor of judging every group here in Crufts, except the Gun Dogs. Originally comes from Gothenburg, she moved to the UK in the 1980s and is currently passed to award CCs in 107 breeds. As we see, the Affen Pincher. Next into the ring, the Australian Silky Terrier. And the beautiful Bichon Frise. And here's the Bolognese. The Cavalier King Charles Spaniel, one of the most popular in the country. The little long coat Chihuahua. And the smooth coat chihuahua. <laughs> game for anything. <laughs> what are we doing? Let's have a game. Let's have a play. Put your fists up. The Chinese crested. The coton de Tulier. And here we have the English toy terrier. And the cheeky faced Griffon Bruxellois. This one, the Havanese. The Italian Greyhound. Striking black and white coat of the Japanese chin. The King Charles Spaniel. The, the Lao Chen just coming in there, our little lion dog with that very characteristic trim. And the Maltese. And the Maltese. The miniature pincher. The little butterfly dog, the papillon. And the Pekingese.
the little extrovert Pomeranian. And the hugely popular Pug. Last but not least, the Yorkshire Terrier. Full of personality, this one. Oh, I love its little top knot. Lovely. Thank you, Graham. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome from Jonathan and myself to the Toy Group Cross 2013. About to see some well, the toy breed group, the toy breeds are small companion or lap dogs. Many of the toy breeds were bred for this capacity, though some have been put in this uh, group simply due to their size. These dogs should all have friendly personalities and love attention. They don't need a large amount of exercise, and some are really finicky eaters, and I can certainly vouch for that as far as the Piganese are concerned. But, uh, they are, they have a very valuable function, these little lap dogs, the toy group. Last minute combing for the Australian Silky there and the Bichon Frise, that striking black pigment against the white coat. One of the most popular in the toy group, the Cavalier King Charles Spaniel. The little long coat Chihuahua, smooth coated cousin, still not settled down. <laughs> I'm never going to settle down, I'm going to fight. There we have. It's a cut on the Tulia. And the black and tan terrier there, the English toy terrier. And actually, I'm getting another sync with what we're seeing there. It's that little Havanese, beautiful Italian greyhound. Grace personified. The Japanese chin and the King Charles. And a very happy King Charles there, the little lion dog, the Lao Chen. Oh, the Maltese <laughs> getting a bit of a kiss there. <laughs> Just cheer it up for the show. Lovely. Oh. It's a bit of a pep talk, that, I think. <laughs> Team talk. <laughs> the little papillon showing those butterfly ears so beautifully. And the Pekingese came in with a bit of a struggle, it looked like. Long day with all that coat and those short legs. Yeah, they're supposed to be dignified. Yeah, they are indeed. Yeah. And the Yorkshire Terrier at the end of the line. Well, this is Jumble. Uh, it's a dog whose age I've not been given. Anne Archer was the judge today, bringing it to this point. Garth Smith is the owner from New Addington in Surrey, and he's handling as well. The breeder was Helen Moffat. And Garth's only been showing for 18 months, but is in the group ring at Crafts, which is quite something. Sometimes called the Black Devil, the breed was originally created in the 17th century. Short backed, rough, harsh coat, no trimming on this sturdy little breed with that cheeky monkey face, They're often referred to as the little black devil, and they're one of the oldest toy breeds in Europe. But it was not until the 70s that four friends from this country decided to import these enchanting little dogs and establish the breed here. Since 5 This is Blue, and it's an Irish champion. It's a five-and-a-half-year-old dog owned by Messrs. Kevin Sharp, Dixon, and Jude Keyes. Um, they come from Carlisle, up in North England. Jude is handling. And the breeder is Mrs. Kay Heinenen, and Dig Soats, I think the name is there. You can really see the origins of this breed, the Australian and the Yorkshire Terriers mixed to produce what was originally known as the Sydney Silky. With this breed, we're looking for a straight, fine, glossy coat, rich blue or blue-gray and tan, little V-shaped ears pricked up there, should be nice and parallel coming towards you, level top line held on the move, free striding, lots of drive from those hind legs. You can see his heritage in the Yorkshire Terrier there, can't you? Today, and 
One of the most highly presented uh, of the toy breeds. This is the Bichon Frise. This dog is called Bo. He's two years old. And the owner is Ashling Connolly from uh, Dublin in Ireland. Ashling was the breeder as well. This dog has won nine groups in Ireland and uh, one best in show there as well. They are spectacular. The presentation of them is all important. Crisp white coat, beautiful black pigment. Liz feeling under the coat for the construction of the dog. Originally from Tenerife, but developed in France, this breed, relatively deep in the body, roughly square, broad, with substance for such a small dog. Striking dark pigment on the eyes and nose. Balanced, really smart little show dog. Tail carried in a plume over the back. This is a 23-month-old uh, Bolognese called Tegi, owned by Anita Fogarty, comes from Shannon, County Clare in Ireland, and the uh, handler in the ring is Anita, and she also bred the dog. Another one from Ireland, just like the Bichon. This dog was originally from, uh, it's from Italy, it was Italian origin. You could be forgiven for thinking this is similar to the Bichon Frise. It is a very similar type, but it has a distinctive non-shedding flock type coat with those lovely loose threads. Compact and square in outline. Wonderfully experienced judge, this cartilage. Little wagging tail there. And now for the Cavalier King Charles Sandor. This breed, as usual, had the highest entry in the toy group. They were a total of three. Next on the table, the Cavalier King, King Charles. This is Bailey, a three year old dog, owned by Michael Levy and Mark Sedgwick and Kevin Klein from Blackmore in Essex. Uh, handled uh, by. Uh, I can't see who's hanging the arm. Is the, is the name in the ring? Um, but I don't know what that means. I've just got some writing here that I can understand. Michael Levy and Mark Sedgwick, though, were the breeders. And this beautiful dog has triumphed over 334 Cavalier King Charles Spaniels. Popular because of their lovely, gentle nature. The head on this breed is so characteristic, that lovely gentle expression. This one, a beautiful Blenheim with that lovely red and white. Long, silky coat, a slight wave allowed to it. Free moving and elegant. Such a balanced breed. And I see a note here that says, what does your dog enjoy when it's not working or showing? Girlfriends, was the answer. <laughs> there we go. This is the Chihuahua, the long coat Chihuahua, <laughs> named Sid. Not dignified enough, really. Sid, this is a dog, 20 months old. Uh, Mrs. Valerie Ellis is the owner from Red Car in Cleveland, up near where Frank uh, Kane comes from, of course. And uh, Valerie Ellis uh, is also handling. Susan Marshall was the breeder. One CC, I guess that was one today. Cheeky, dainty, small package this, alert and full of character. This one, the long coat, the stand is the same for the two coats. Level back, slightly longer than tall with that lovely high set tail. This, of course, is the smooth version of the Chihuahua. This is Alice. This is a bitch three years old, owned by Mrs. Pam Tranter from Cannock in Staffordshire, handled by Pam in the ring, and I guess she bred it as well. Taradona Alice is the full breed name. Little short muzzle you can see there, well-rounded apple dome of a skull, large flaring ears. 
Now, Alice was behaving like a little crazy thing when she came into the ring earlier, showing true Chihuahua character, but she's settled nicely now. Beautifully under control. High now. set tail, carried up. Nice extension in the front there. Brisk, forceful action they should have with a top line held nice and level on the move. And so much character on display from this one. This, of course, is the Chinese Crested, and this is Mia. This is a two-year-old, two-year-old bitch, owned by Tina Dixon from Manchester. Uh, she bred the dog as well. Dawn Dixon is handling there in the ring. 24 cc's to this little dog. It's another breed with two coat types. This one just with hair on the feet, the tail and the head, but of course they can come with hair all over the body. Falling, lovely, long, flowing, elegant coat. When they're called powder puffs, I think. Graceful on the move, surprisingly strong, this little dog. Slightly longer cask, brisket falling till the elbow, so a nice chest. Level backed on the move. <laughs> a little turn there to show off. <laughs> Active and graceful little dogs, these. Next we have the Comte de Julia. 44 dogs making 50 entries for Judge Van Gogh today. And she's sent to Judge Van Gogh for the Comte de Julia. Well, with a breed name like Coton du Tulier, you'd expect it to be a foreign dog. And this one is. It's come from France. Uh, the pet name is Diwal. It's a four year old dog owned by Mrs. Lefebvre Francoise, come from France, doesn't say where, handled in the ring by Monsieur Jegou Cedric, or Mr. Cedric Jegou. It's hard to know uh, whether it's been written in English or in French there. And the breeder, Mr. and Mrs. Foray. Originally from Madagascar, this breed, actually. And the name is derived from the cotton texture of the coat. Long, fine, and single that coat, so no different undercoat underneath it. Black nose, lovely round black eyes you'll see coming towards you. Pure white this one, though the ears could be lemon or grey in colour. And this is the English toy terrier, he's called Knox. He's 27 months old. Actually, it's a bitch. I'm saying he is she. Uh, Kirsten Noth from Germany owns this one. So we've got another foreign dog there. Kirsten actually handling. The breeder was Page Saunders. And uh, this dog has won two CCs. Might have hailed from Germany, but it's actually one of Britain's oldest native toy breeds, the black and tan. You can see the long, narrow, wedge-shaped head there with those wonderful candle flame ears set high and at the back of the skull. Balanced and compact in outline, this one. A slight curve to that top line is desirable. And the tail slightly low set, thrashing and wagging away there. There were 88 Griffon Brussel making 96 entries today, judged by Mrs. Lucille Dangerfield. The best of breed was the bitch, number 6355. This is the Griffon Bruxellois. This is Bonbon. It's a bitch, 22 months old. Owned by Lionel Trouve and Alison Price from Ellesmere Port in Cheshire. Lionel actually handling in the ring. Alison was the breeder. First CC today. Marcon in your dreams is the full name. This little breed can be rough or smooth coated and come in red, black or black and tan. This one a lovely rich red. We're looking for a cobby, balanced little character, square in outline, very smart, with the head quite large in proportion, rounded, not domed. Round, dark eyes giving a really cheeky expression. Characteristic monkey face, I think. This is the Havanese. Guy is a five-year-old dog owned by Sheila Walker from Derbyshire. Hayley McCallum, who is uh, Sheila's granddaughter, 
is actually handling the dog in the ring. And the breather was Maud Johnson from Sweden. So bred abroad and here, happy friends want a guy. There are, that's its name, Swedish import. And that soft, silky coat can come in any color. A slight wave or curl permitted. A small, sturdy, lively little dog. Great personalities. This is the Italian Greyhound Enzo, who's a three-year-old dog owned by Russell David and doing the Hodges, and uh, they come from Northamptonshire. Russell is handling in the ring, and the owners, of course, were the breeders. 20 cc's to its name, spectacular little dog. A greyhound in miniature, this one. Elegant and graceful, swift and brave with a big heart. Deep, narrow chest you can see there. The back line arching slightly downwards over the loins. Short, fine coat on supple skin in beautiful colours. Six, four, six, nine. Italian greyhound. On the table now we see the Japanese chin. Dye Fry was our judge today. I have an entry of 180. Always really spectacular, the Japanese chin. This is Tashi, uh, a 34 months old dog. 34, that's just under three, isn't it? Uh, Rhonda Banks from Gainsbury in Lincolnshire, uh, handled in the ring by uh, Rhonda. Molly Cooker uh, was the Molly, the late Molly Cooker was the uh, breeder. Four cc's this little dog's one, but I do find those markings spectacular. I think they're beautiful. True aristocrat, this one. Smart, compact, with that profuse coat. This one in black and white, but they can come in red and white too. It's long and soft, straight and silky. We're looking for a square dog, got to be cobby, solid but not ever coarse. High set plume of a tail carried over the back. And those hair feet you can see beautifully there. Well, those small and cute, not really the ideal pet for a child. Well, this is Theo. He's a King Charles Spaniel, of course, and he's a three-and-a-half-year-old dog. William Moffat and Joyce uh, Delvins from Newcastle are the owners. Tanya Ireland is handling in the ring. The late Sheila Waters and Joyce Banks are the breeders of this. 35 cc, so this dog has won an awful lot. Three groups as well. This breed has a distinctive domed skull, large dark eyes giving a lovely expression, and they actually require an undershot bite where the lower teeth come forwards of the upper. Wide chested, short, nice level back, little cat shaped feet, this person. Alert and intelligent, lovely look at the expression there. Now we come to the alert. This is a little lion dog, the Lurchin. This is uh, Rosie, I think, who is a bitch, three years old. TJ Spell of Gold back at Lianza is the full name. Long name for a little dog, as always, uh, with these. Uh, Miss Mia Jarvis handling in the ring. Miss Jean Mansell was the breeder. And uh, Mr. and Mrs. Rains from Sheffield are the owners. You should never suspect that the toy dogs are little people in any respect. The little lion dog is strongly built, active, balanced, head carriage, proud, lovely dark eyes you can see there coming towards you. The long wavy coat is single in structure, silky in texture and can come in any color. Nice tail carried high, clipped with a little plume on the end. Fifty-one dogs, fifty-eight entries were here today. The judge was Shannon Johnson Love. 
Well, this is an American Canadian champion. Highlight come dance with me, Frankie. is a dog three years old, owned by Sarah Jackson and Andrea uh, Wiley. They come from Northampton, Sarah Jackson handling. Pam Armstrong bred this dog in America. Uh, third CC today. Oh, this is the third show in the UK today, second CC. Such a characteristic breed and always a group contender, the Maltese, with that sparkling white coat, black pigment. They're lively, intelligent little dogs. A lovely shot there of the dog coming towards you with that striding action. Short and cobby, level top, round, top line. Nice little round feet you can see there extending forwards. <laughs> the coat wants to be long, but not impeding the action of the dog. And I don't think anyone's going to stop this one. Six, eight, six, to to oh, no, putting the brakes on now. <laughs> She's giving this oh, one another chance to, to move because no, it oh, doesn't. No. Oh, that is such a shame. Yes, you can't do that. What a shame. It happens oh, sometimes. Yeah, sometimes. Dogs dog get doesn't want to do it. It's been here all day. It didn't want to play when it was important. What a shame. Perhaps that's why the team talk was taking place earlier. Somebody was putting the brakes on in the initial lineup. <laughs> This is the miniature Pincher. Pincher, of course, the German word for terrier. This is Tinchi, who is an 18-month-old dog owned by Robert Hitchcock. Um, they come from Heage, uh, from he Heage in Belper in Derbyshire. And the handler in the ring is Robert Hitchcock. The breeder was Rhea Watts. First CC today for this little chap. Sturdy and compact, elegant though, this smooth-coated little toy dog. High-set ears can either be erect like this one or they can be carried dropped. Square with a nice straight top line, sloping from the withers to the tail. Deep-chested little dog, powerful despite its small size. And very alert and on his toes, this one. Well, this Papillon is an American grand champion, UK champion as well. He's called Dave. He's five years old, but all that should be called Dave, should he? Uh, the owners are Lise van der Moeden and Sharon Newcomb from Texas and New Mexico in the United States. Sharon's handling in the ring. Carol Lise was the breeder. And I've called the little Papillon, of course, because of the set of those ears that look like a butterfly's wings. In lovely show condition, that abundant, flowing, fine, silky coat. Slightly longer than he is tall, a level top line. Tail carried over the back. And a beautiful shot of the lovely shape of the head there. Rounded skull and a nice pointy foxy muzzle. So this little Pekingese, make no mistake, this dog thinks it's the biggest dog at the NEC. No question. He's called Rocco. He's three years old. Gary Thomas is the owner. Comes from Pontypool in South Wales. The handler in the ring is Gary, who owns the dog, and Mrs. Thomas and Jennings were the breeders. Six cc's. Such a lot of fur there. Very difficult to see what uh, a Pekingese looks like. And then he's looking straight at you. There he is. And you can understand looking at that headshot, can't you, why they're called leonine. A little lion heart in temperament. This dog is supposed to take his time going round the ring. He's described as dignified with a slightly rolling gait. Profuse coat, but not so much that it interferes with the dog's action. Quite a short body underneath all that coat with a very distinctive <laughs> waist. Broad chested, and look at that lovely shot of the face. 
Uh, I've got two of those at home, and uh, one has a completely white face, no mask at all. They, they have pretty little faces, but you can't really tell when they're so black as that. Well, this is the Pomeranian, Fergal. He's an 18-month-old dog owned uh, by James Newman and El Eleanor Terry from Dublin in Ireland, of course, um, handled in the ring by Sean Carroll. Sean and James were actually the breeders of uh, this little one. First CC today, a lot of, lot of first-time big winners here today. Vivacious and charming. This is a pocket rocket of a toy dog, this one. Foxy face, bright and dark eyes, small, neat ears buried in that profuse mane of coat there. Fine bone nonetheless, little cat-like paws, high set tail turned over the back. Just look at that expression. What a little charmer, a true extrovert. Very big entry of pugs today, judged by Mrs. Anne Bolton. Claire Kim and Bob Topless own uh, this pug, who's called Joe. He's a 22-month-old dog. Claire's handling in the ring, and uh, Bob and Mrs. King Topless were the breeders. Two CCs, and there's one a puppy group. Uh, has been uh, group three in a puppy show. Compact and cobby, the pug, but very balanced and well-muscled with great dignity. The head is large and quite round, short-muzzled, and the wrinkles terribly important and shouldn't be over-exaggerated. Lovely large eyes, this one with a gorgeous black mask. Ears are soft, like black velvet in your hands. Fine, smooth, soft coat should be short. Steady and purposeful little dog with great character. Well, this Yorkshire Terrier, well, uh, it's ridiculous. UK champion, Portuguese champion, Japan champion, international, uh, so many, I can't name them all. Uh, Julie is the, uh, the bitch's name, four and a half years old. Uh, the owners are uh, Yoshiko Obana. They come from Tokyo in Japan, handled in the ring here by Sergio Amion, and uh, Yoshiko Obana was the breeder. Four CCs, this dog has won. Massive number of champions, uh, countries champion he is. Or she is, it's a bitch, of course. And this one's showing great character in the group ring tonight. The coat all important, long coated with the centre parting all the way down the dog. The stark steel blue and rich bright tan, so important. Free moving with a level top line and a lovely flowing gait. A real character, this one. The best of And so Liz Cartledge now has to summon all her experience together to choose from these beautiful collection of toy dogs which one she wants to go through into the best in show competition on Sunday later. So a good wander along this line. Liz taking another good look at them. She'll make a short list of about eight, and uh, could be nine, as it was in Frank's case. We shall be watching carefully. I'm not sure where she goes. Some beautiful dogs in there. Oh, look at the Charlie yeah, wagging tail mm. there, really showing its socks <laughs> off. <laughs> feel very sorry for the Maltese owner because her little dog stopped showing. Now I've got to say I felt a little sorry for the Peak owner as well because the dog was, was tired painfully. Little Pomeranian there, still showing, and that Yorkshire Terrier showed so much character. So Liz is going to make her cut now. Who's she going to pull? Coming right over to the left-hand side, 
It's not going to be the Affenpenscher. It's going to be. It's not going to be the Bichon either. It's it is the Bichon. Oh, Frise's the Bichon. first in. Yeah. And the Chinese crested. And the Italian Greyhound. The Charlies come in, the Papillon, the little Pomeranian, the, the Pug. Pug, and the Yorkshire Terrier. Nice selection. There's the little Pomeranian, the Yorkshire Terrier. Pomeranian, Pug, and Yorkshire Terrier there at the end, yes. So that's a nice collection for her to look at. She's only taken out seven, has she? One, two, three, four, five, six, no, eight. We have eight there. And she's taking a look, first of all, at the Bichon Frise. This one, champion and Irish champion, Ashme, double act, Bo, come over from Ireland to compete. Just two years old. Looking at that lovely expression with that black pigment in the white face. They're just going straight up and down this time. Smaller dogs take rather longer to go all the way around the ring. <laughs> they do indeed. Here comes the Chinese crested champion, Debrita Diaz, junior warrant, show champion. Mia's the pet name, two years old. Much happier in that go up and down, actually, putting in a really good performance there. The grace and elegance of the Italian greyhound. This one, champion Dallin set, starstruck. Enzo. What a Charles it's Spaniel, delightful, yeah. <laughs> delightful. <laughs> always popular, always popular. Champion maybe Theo, the Charlie. And the Papillon. This, of course, uh, Sue Stanbury judged it today to bring it to this point. As I've said, Dave, I don't think that's a dignified enough name for this <laughs> American grand champion and UK champion. Call him Dave, I don't know. Personality plus the little Pomeranian Irish champion, Belavere, un um, unexpected target, Fergal. And here comes the pug. Very popular breed, the pug. Kim Clara Takota Joe. <laughs> Some great names. Doesn't sound like a name from Shropshire, does it? And the last of the selection. And finally, the character of that little Yorkshire Terrier, multi champion Royal Precious JPs for Juliana. July. All the way from Japan to compete here at Crofts. I think I called her Julia earlier, but I think July is correct. Well, what are you going to do with those, Liz? Well, the boards are coming out, so she knows. She's made her decision. She'll have another check. She'll have another check. So there are have another look along the line. Dogs here. Six dogs, two bitches. So Liz Cartledge going to pull her winner now for the Toy Group 2013. Oh, it's going to be the wonderful performance from that wagging tail on the Charlie. It'll be a hugely popular win. The King Charles Spaniel takes the group. Champion maybe Theo. And the Italian Green Greyhound takes second place there. Champion Dallin set Sarastro, Enzo for short, gets group two. And group three goes to this multi-champion Yorkshire Terrier. July. <laughs> Racing across the ring into third spot there. And the Pomeranian gets group four. Let's hear it. 
So there we have our group winner for the Toy Group 2013, the magnificent King Charles Spaniel, champion maybe Theo. Three and a half years old and taking the group here at Crufts. To the winner of the Toy Group, Crufts 2013, the King Charles Spaniel. So we have two more dogs going through to the best in show competition. And the presentation there being made by Mr. Peter Jones, president of the BVA, escorted into the ring by Gerald King, who's chairman of the Crufts Committee. The judge, of course, standing there. And look at that. What a oh, terrific. What a lovely, very popular winner and a very happy lady with it. Very happy lady. Well done, Liz. Excellent bit of judging there. Tanya Ireland, the handler in the ring. Presentations being made to the Italian Greyhound in Group 2, the Yorkshire Terrier in Group 3, and finally that characterful little Pomeranian at the end of the line. Can't argue with any of that. I thought it was a very nice group, and here and they go on their lap of honour. Lovely, free-striding, balanced King Charles Spaniel there. What a super dog taking the toy group for 2013, and smiling all the way round. Screen. Charles Novoselic, 